Hello and welcome to Tushka Training. Today we're going to have a uh, look at a quick tip inside HitFilm 2. Uh, we normally use HitFilm 2 Ultimate. For, from now on, if I'm doing an effect and it can be done in Express, I'm going to do it in Express so that people can see it being done who downloaded the uh, free version that um, FX Home put out recently. So uh, what we're going to cover today is high-pass filtering um, and using that for sharpening. I'm not a big fan of sharpened filters and unsharp mask things like that i'm not saying they don't work great they might work perfect for you i can never get anything usable out of them that's probably just because i'm useless i've got used to high pass filtering so uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a composite shot we'll call this uh, high pass comp uh well, well then we may as well create another composite shot and we'll call this um sharpen comp We'll go back to the high pass comp over here. Uh, we're going to drag in some footage. We're going to drag in the footage again. Uh, on the top piece of footage, we're going to open color grade in here and drag down an invert. We are going to open up the transform and bring the opacity down to 50%, which you'll, as you'll notice is grayed it out completely because we've got an invert of the original um, footage. And when you put that at 50%, it layers it up and cancels everything out. Uh, exactly the same as uh, phased audio in the audio world. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring a blur down onto this inverted layer. And as you can see now, we've pretty much created a, a high pass filter. So what we want to do with this is go to our sharpen comp, bring in the footage again. Over the footage, we want to bring in the high pass comp like so, and then change the blend mode to overlay like that. And as you can see, it's actually sharpened the image. Uh, very nicely and if you go back to the high pass comp obviously you can use your blur effects to change the radius of the uh, of the filter and so on and so forth you can also use this effect with a few other different bits and bobs to create to get um different stylized looks um which you should experiment with a bit more but as you can see a few clicks and you've actually got a, a nice sharpened image there like so uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you on the next one